If you have a MailChimp email list and a Squarespace website and you want to connect to the two, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to add an email sign-up form that links to MailChimp. I'll show you how to do it right here on this page of my own website. And if we haven't met or if you haven't watched a video before, I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm here to help you turn your creativity into a professionally designed online brand. So let's get into it. I'm going to come into edit mode of my website, and I am on a 7.0 website, which is the last editor, editor of Squarespace, so yours might look a tiny bit different, but it is going to operate the same once we're in edit mode. Okay, so I'm going to click the plus button to add a block, and I'm going to come down to newsletter right here. And then what we want to do is click over here to storage. Now it's going to default to have your subscribers go to the Squarespace email marketing list. So I click into here and disconnect. And then let's go into other storage options. Click connect next to MailChimp. It will have you log in to MailChimp. If you have that two-factor authentication, it will usually bypass that, sometimes not. There we go, I've got several different access points on here, so I'm going to click Designing the Row, go into my account, authorize Squarespace to connect to my MailChimp account. And you can see once that loads, it says a list must be selected. So I'm going to click this drop down and come to designing the row. I have lots of lists and I don't actually use MailChimp anymore. I use it for example purposes, but designing the row require double opt-in is the default. And we're going to go back and back. And that is how you connect it. If you want to then edit, what you see here, the subscribe text, you can do that here under the content tab. And don't forget to customize this form name. Do whatever you like. And then when you change the title here, oops, you can see it automatically change right on the page. Same with this text right here, if you wanna update that. And the disclaimer as well. If you want to require the name field, that's something I actually do recommend, then you can email people and use their first name. It feels much more personalized when you do that. You can toggle that on, and then you should be good to go. Click out of that pop-up box there, save the page, and there is your email list connected to your MailChimp list. And that is all you have to do. And if you are working on your website and you would like some branding guidance, I have a free website branding worksheet and video guide that you can get by going to designingtherow.com slash YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.